Welcome back to BYU Sports Nation live from Studio B. Joining us now is one of the stars of 16th-ranked BYU women's basketball. They're doing their thing in the West Coast Conference and beyond. Shaylee Gonzalez is with us. Shaylee, it's good to see you back in Studio B. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here. We have entered a very strange COVID scenario again where you're playing games on unexpected days and you had a scenario where you played San Diego twice in three days. It was kind of like a playoff series. You were away. You won that game. You come home. You win by 22. What has it been like for you navigating the second wave of COVID as a Division yeah. One athlete? Yeah, um, I, I feel like our team has talked about this a bit. It's like really frustrating for us because we just want to play basketball games, you know. Um, it's frustrating that teams don't want to play because of COVID and but you know, as long as we, we reschedule those games and we come out hard and we play our game, that's all that matters. And this last weekend was pretty, um, I mean, those that team, San Diego, they were super aggressive. And, I mean, we just took it to them. They're really good defensively, typically. Mm -hmm. But you put up 70-plus in both games. Um, you went for 49 points in the two games. That's pretty good against them because typically they shut people down. So what was working on offense? Um, I feel like offensively, just our passing, our movement, um, San Diego came out in a, in a press, and so we knew that they were going to pressure us a lot. Um, and then they also played us in zone our, sec our second game, and they tried to mix it up on us. Wait, but... who plays you in zone? You're just going to hit three, right? Is that, <laughs> yeah. that feels foolish. Yeah, well, Shaley did will that be yesterday. Wide open, and then the Duncan will be right in there, 41. So, I mean. Huh. Hey, I wouldn't play zone against BYU, but I don't know what I would do against you guys. <laughs> yeah. Don't say what you would do. Don't give the <laughs> secret away. Okay, so they did mix in some zone defense, yeah. and as I just said, you made three out of five from the three-point line. That If we're nitpicking, Shaylee, you've, had, you've done everything at a very <laughs> high level, but your three-point shooting is not where it has been in the oh, past, no. but it's uh -huh. getting better. So uh, how is that evolving as the season progresses? Yeah, I don't know. This season I've struggled a bit with my three-point shot. Um, I've been getting in the gym more, shooting on the shooting machine, trying to get that percentage up. I know that um, I need to do better at that in my role and um, trying to take upon that. You shot it better against San Diego. Five of eight did. in the two games. <laughs> We're picking nits here. Jeez. Right? Uh, 59% from two. Is that an mm -hmm. acceptable number for you? <laughs> I would like that number to go up a bit. <laughs> Even more. You want to be in the 60s? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, you guys, you guys are, we've said it all freaking year, but you guys are 16-1, and 6-0 in league. Charlie Cream has you as a three seed. Mm -hmm. How does that sound? You're number 16 in the country. Everything's going great. Yeah. I mean, to be able to host a game, an NCAA game, would be awesome during the tournament um i mean we're just gonna keep pushing keep grinding um we got some tough games coming up we play gonzaga soon and mm. we know we gotta we gotta win those games tell us about the zags this year because certainly it's a different group from last year mm -hmm. but still good they're top yeah. 30 in net it's mm -hmm. still gonna be a big game yeah i mean they lost i think four seniors and they played a lot um they were their top players and so i'm super excited to play gonzaga see what their team dynamic is this year and i um, just looking forward to play them Shaley Gonzalez with us on BYU Sports Nation, star for the BYU women's basketball team and one of several stars. Paisley Harding doing her thing, mm -hmm. Lauren Gustin doing her thing, Tegan Graham has been mm -hmm. outstanding at points. It feels like everybody is contributing and the chemistry is at an all-time high. Why is that, that this year it has all come together? Yeah, I mean, those five seniors coming back was huge for us. Um, and I feel like that's why we're so good this year is because we have that chemistry. Um, and their leadership is amazing and um, it's been super fun playing with them again, and um, I'm going to be sad when they leave. Yeah, let's not talk about it. Uh, yeah, I, I'm going to miss that. them, too. Um, okay, you are amazingly somehow, what, a redshirt sophomore? Yeah. Okay, so As is can... Lauren Gust. <laughs> yeah, both of us. Not bad, right? Not bad. <laughs> um, are we going to see you in the Big 12? You going to stay that extra year? Oh, yeah, that's my, that's my plan. Two years. Five years of Shaley. That's my plan. Oh, baby. That's exciting. <laughs> okay, you talked about sort of uh, the team dynamic. What's the secret sauce? Obviously, the secret all, these, sauce. all these seniors coming back, it's uh -huh. like awesome. You're, uh -huh. you're, you're better than you probably would have been, right, with that mm -hmm. experience and that production. But, like, we, there's something different about the group, and it's the BYU women's basketball manager's account showing dancing and the chem like you guys get along so well and that translate like when you're skilled yeah. and you have chemistry that's a great combo uh -huh. I feel like yeah I mean we're super close on and off the floor and I feel like we love to have fun with each other you know that like you said that account the social media stuff um, you need to follow that account every time it's there's so one funny like, BYU, what is it BYU WBB managers, managers yeah so yeah. they just take like videos like behind <laughs> the so scenes funny. of like the girls dancing in practice and <laughs> 
<laughs> it's really funny. And those videos have been blowing up, so it's That's pretty awesome. cool. Yeah. All right, Shayla, let's go back to the metrics. Number 16 in the country, according to the media. Number 13 in the latest NCAA women's basketball net rankings. Oh, that's up spot. Let's go. <laughs> and a projected three seed, according to ESPN's Charlie Cream. Which of those three numbers resonates most with you? With me? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> Can you say those things again? Number 16 in the AP poll. There's number so many, 13 know, in the I net know. rankings. 16. Or a projected three seed in the NCAA tournament, according to ESPN. I feel like the number three seed. Mm. I feel like that... I mean, that just proves and shows how much hard work we put in, and um, hopefully that number can go up more if, if we keep winning as a team. And, I mean, we're just super excited to get in the NCAA tournament again and to play um, and to go even farther in the tournament. You know, that second game last year against U of A uh, was hard for us, and we knew that we could beat them. We were up almost the whole game, and so we're just looking forward to get there again. And U of A for an Arizona girl, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. There was a little connection there. Okay. Yeah. Although both your parents went to Grand Canyon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The Lopes. The, the Lopes. Lopes. Men's volleyball. We know them <laughs> from men's volleyball. Okay. So uh, what, what's what's your life like emotionally right now? Because you posted on Instagram about your brother is <laughs> going on a mission, yeah. home MTC, mm-hmm. but you're up here now. You're the oldest. <laughs> yeah. He's the second oldest, and you guys are tight. Yeah. So he came up here um, after high school and... Um, he was doing like online school. He was working, and we literally lived down the street. And we'd we'd always hang out every single day. And we're super super close, super tight. He'd always be the one to go to the gym with me, um, help me work on my game. And um, we played Saturday, and then after that game, I flew out to Arizona. And then Sunday, he gave his farewell talk, and then spent the whole day with him and family and friends. Sunday, and then Monday morning, I flew back here for our game on wow. Monday night. Mm. And so it was a bit crazy, but I was just glad I got to be able to go back home for the day and spend time with him. Um, it's super hard, and I'm super excited for him. Sure. Zaya. Yeah, yeah, shout out to Zaya yeah. and the Zaya. entire Gonzalez Not family. Zaya. <laughs> Zaya, which is super cool. Yeah. Shaylee, let's finish with this. Because you do have such a social media presence and so many are interested in your life as a Division One athlete, how has name, image, likeness worked for you mm-hmm. personally? Yeah, I mean, I've gotten great opportunities to um, make money and to kind of – kind of be like a little businesswoman almost I feel like um, I was able to learn a bunch of things and to work with businesses and I have a couple brand deals that I'm doing and it's super fun and I love it and it's a little like side job is it hard to balance the time yeah it is hard to count all the money (laughs) it's like like a job (laughs) it's like a job and so it does take a lot of time Um, I've been trying to um, I've been taking a little break from the social media part of it and to focus on um, more important things, but you know, it's super fun and I love doing it, whether it's like a little bit or working with brand deals. It's like showing off a, a certain card at Mac U, I think, <laughs> right? Which is pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, that's my that's biggest awesome. brand right that's now. Awesome. You and AB, let's yeah. go. Um, you're, you're a journalism major, which we did as well, mm-hmm. although they didn't have sports media when we were going through. Mm-hmm. Uh, what, what do you want to do with that? And what, yeah. what, what are you learning that we need to know because we're not in class? <laughs> um, well, I'm taking a class from Greg Rebell right now. So nice. that class is fun. Um, I, I think it would be so cool to be like a – I mean, obviously I want to play pro after college, whether it's um, try out for the WNBA or go pro overseas. Um, I feel like it would be really cool to be a photographer for, like, mm. a NBA team or, you know, any team like that, some sort. Um, but not so much, like, broadcasting. I know that's your guys' more thing. More social? And, yeah, more social. Yeah. Okay. There, there are students like that. that have left here who are working, like, with the jazz and other In social yeah, media. In social. Cool. Yeah, that absolutely. So cool. That's yeah. cool. We can have some conversations about that. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Or if you decide you want to be the next Rebecca Lobo, Carol Lawson, <laughs> like, we can talk about that, too. <laughs> That'd Seriously. be awesome. Okay, thanks, Shaylee. Great to talk with you. Let's give you some BYU Sports Nation karma for yes. the upcoming games this and we've got a couple, you know, on BYU TV this week, which is exciting. Santa Clara, San Good Francisco, luck. let's yeah. do it. Thank you, go. guys.